Marquisha. I am super excited to share with you guys the next Scrappin' Queens of 2013 event. This event is titled 10 Shades of Grey. Or was it 50 Shades of Grey? No, just kidding. It is 10 Shades of Grey. So we have a total of 10 ladies again participating. And if you follow us along on the first hop that we had, um, we suggested that if you wanted to participate to please leave uh, in the comment you would like to be selected for um, the next hop or the next challenge or event. Um, because what we do is we just rotate with different um, uh, crafters. And um, this time we have a lineup of some awesome, awesome crafters. So I will put a link down in the description box of all of the ladies um, channel so you can follow along. So if you're at my channel, that means you should have just left Scrap Passion 01, who is Betty here on YouTube, and viewed her awesome pro uh, project. Now, the Scrapping Queens of 2013 was put together by myself, Betty, Scrap Passion 01, and Tamika, who is Scrap the World. So, um, what you're looking at now is the new frame for the Scrapping Queens of 2013. So, um, I will go briefly over the frame because that is not why I am here today. Um, but I did love the way this frame turned out. And what I did was use some um, red uh, metallic paint and just put a spray of flowers here. This beautiful, beautiful stick pen here that you can see. And of course, I had to put the playing cards down because we are the Scrapping Queens. So, I love the way that frame turned out. So, without further ado, I will go ahead and go over my project. Now, I created a love kit. This event was centered around Valentine's Day. So what I decided to do was to put together something that um, a married couple or some, someone who um, is your significant other can participate in a very um, wonderful, fun night or day. So, I used the Tags Bags Boxes 2 to create these gorgeous, gorgeous milk cartons here. And I go ahead and go over the first one here. I have some a beautiful rose trim at the bottom. I have a silver doily. I also have a pink heart-shaped doily. And guys, I blinged up this entire project so um, you notice I have bling all around and it just travels all around the milk carton I have a bling here with some organza ribbon and then I altered a paper clip I just used some of that rose trim and put a center in this in the middle and um, to hold the milk carton um, in place so I'll go ahead and remove that because the whole point of this love kit was to have goodies and things in here that you can use for a very, very fun night. So, let's see what's in this first box here. Okay. So, looks like in the first um, bag here, we have, if I can get it out, some candles, guys. Okay, you cannot start your event without some candles for a romantic night. So, of course, this little box is filled with goodies. Um, candles, that is, uh, for your um, very special night. So, that's what that's in that box. So, I'll go ahead and just put this one back together. Put the paper clip on it. And move that one to the side. And I created a little um, tray here to sit it in. It's just like, you know, breakfast. We're going to just serve it, okay? So then the second one that I created, gorgeous. And remember, it had to be shades of gray. So I used shades of gray with pink. So again, bling this baby up. I used another doily. 
I use a love ticket here and then again some organza ribbon with a gorgeous gorgeous center there and then um, this clothes pin here has a homemade um, flower with the center in it and that's to keep this one closed so let's check out what's in this goodie box okay and let me tell you what is Valentine without some chocolate every girl loves chocolate so this one is filled with Hershey kisses just to get the night um, going with your sweet tooth right here guys right here so that's what this one is filled with I love the way these boxes turn out and what I'm going to do is give this kit to one of my um, married friends for a very fun eventful night so that is this one here okay and then this one I love the way this one turned out here again I use the pink and gray I um, made a little envelope here and I used my um, Tim Holtz hexacon um, embossing folder to emboss this envelope um, I put some velcro on it and then I just put a little um, ticket here and it just says my dream day so it just tucks right back in there and you can close it back up and um, another doily here some bling and check out that gorgeous gorgeous um, cameo right there super cute gray I love it and I just have some um, gray ribbon right there to hold it together and then I have some of these cute little clothes pins from recollection and I'll just remove those and so inside of this one and I'm gonna have to pick this one up sorry guys I created a box very very cute love it so I painted the, the box with um, sterling silver Martha Stewart paint I use my Tim Holtz birdcage um, die here and just um, on this um, bird here I uh, use my um, big shot and cut it out and if you can notice there I'm not sure if you can see that but it has love embossed on there this is a homemade flower here with a gorgeous center in the middle I have some Chinese braid trim here again ladies love the bling and then I have some gorgeous gorgeous silver um, trim that's uh, aligning this box here and so I'll open it up and it's just again just paint it and so what I have in this box is a gorgeous little mini book and so in this book and um, it has February the 14th and I just have some ribbon here again bling and what I use for this little mini book was a 12 by 12 um, cardstock to make it so I'll go ahead and take this ribbon off because this is just like a little belly band to hold it together and so when I created this little um, book here um, I had in mind um, 10 reasons why I love you so I also put some lace around it and gave it a, a binder here with the lace on the front and with the back and so it just opens up like this and so each one of the little um, pockets here have a little tag in it and what I've done with these little tags and I punched this out with a with a punch I just put some reasons in here and if you think about reasons why I love you it says because you are heaven sent love it gorgeous gorgeous and so super sweet and so I won't go into all of these but just know that all of these tags do have a little sweet message on the back like this one says I love you because you always know just the right thing to say so you can personalize this however you want and so it just opens up and each one of them have a little tag in there and it has a message on the back and so um, the last one here that I use and I use some K and Company 
um, little die cuts there. And it says, I love you just for you. So I thought that was super, super cute. And again, you can personalize it however you like, and it just tucks right back down in this box here. And so this alone can be a gift to give to someone, um, you know, so they can personalize it and um, use it for the night, you know, they just kind of jot down, you know, reasons why they love their spouse. So I love the way that turned out, and I love that paint. It is so, so shimmery. So that's that and then last but not least is i created a message in the bottle so um if you guys seen that movie message in, message in the bottle it was just phenomenal so what i have here is a gorgeous cameo and i have some beautiful trim with some lace at the bottom and at the top here, I have some satin um, gray ribbon, and I have a little center here. And then on the top, I have just a little button on the little cork there. And so I won't uh, open it up, but if you can look in there and see, it's a little message in there. So the person that I give this to, they can write a message to their um, honey bun. And so also in the inside, it has some rose petals in there. So guys, as you can see, I thought of everything to have a very, very romantic, yet very, very cute, shabby chic, so to speak, night. So I love the way this project turned out, guys. And I just want to say that I will be doing a giveaway um, for um, my um, challenge. So the requirements are you will have to do a video response and post that to Scrap Passion 01. And I will have all of that information in the description box. And we will do a drawing. Um, I will, Betty, and as well as Tamika for that drawing. And all of us are doing separate giveaways. So that's three um, chances right there of winning. And remember that you have to follow along with the other ladies because they have some awesome prizes as well. So let me go ahead and um, show you guys what I will be giving away um, as my giveaway. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And then we will, um, I will go ahead and show you what I'm going to give. Okay, so the drawing will be on um, February the 22nd. So that's when we'll do the drawing. So you'll have to stay tuned to um, see what um, the prizes are and who won, okay? So I'll give um, this recollections trim here. Here's another one in pink. Another one in like a tan color. Some um, recollection um, um, bling and borders. This is the Webster Pages Bloomers. I love those. Studio G um, Charms here. It says Love Birds. Another Studio um, G Stamp. Um, do what you love and do it often. I love that saying. Here's another Studio G. It says so much fun. Here is a clear stamp um, girl set here. It says daddy's little girl. This is a very, very cute stamp. I have two paper pads. This one is a six by six blink of an eye. Then this is the Miss Caroline, My Mind's Eye. I have some Studio G washi tape. I have some Recollection Bling here, and this one in the gold. And here's another one in white. I have some gorgeous red um, trim here. 
um, for Valentine's Day. Here's another um, Recollection um, tan color trim. I have a Martha Stewart um, flocking powder in the Robin egg color right before Easter. And then I have um, some Martha Stewart um, glass micro beads here in purple. This is the uh, Martha Stewart flocking um, powder in Pateur. I have just a bag of goodies. These are a lot of the stick pin balls that you can use to make some gorgeous stick pins. And then if you like that um, cameo that I had on my um, message in the bottle, I have a black one, a blue one, and a gorgeous tan one. You will get that. And then last but not least, you will get this memo pad to alter. So thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget the drawing will be on February the 22nd. Please leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to everyone's channel to be entered into the giveaway. Thanks, guys. You should be going over to the Damsel of Distress after my channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.